my friends. A drink first to the happy couple. To Inge Helm's wife, the newest member of our family, and my son Carl. To the happy, happy couple. I propose a toast to my in-laws, Frau Helms and Herr Helms. Frau Helms. <laughs> their son Hans and all their friends and relatives. And to my wife's dear parents, Frau and Herr Pallets. Less introduction, more champagne. Listen, they are good shoes. The physician, the old man of war hero. It's a pity you couldn't have postponed the wedding for a few months. What do you mean? There's a rumor that the party may soon forbid mixed marriages. Dorf, Eric, age 24, born in Berlin, graduate of the University Law School, no party affiliation. Well, not until this moment. Why the sudden interest? I need a job. What do you feel about Jews? Neutral. We'll solve a multitude of problems, economic, military, governmental, simply by attacking Jews. Do you know a woman named Dr. Goodman? Yes, she used to be our maid. Dr. Weiss, you know it's illegal to treat Aryan patients. I did that out of, out of habit. I, I used to have a great many Gentile patients, you and your wife included. Why haven't you left Germany? We should have left three years ago, after Carl was married. This is my country as much as theirs. I do not fear those barbarians. You amaze me, Dorf. Put out the order. I'm beginning to appreciate what a fine legal mind can do. Thank you, sir. It's a marvelous notion. Tell them to put on business suits. And mind you, Dorf, no damage to German property. And all resistors must be shot. You are Dr. Joseph Weiss, Konigstrasse 22, born in Warsaw, Poland. You are here on a special visa. Yes. You are ordered deported to Poland. You are to be at the Anhalter station tomorrow at 6 a.m. with food for one day and one bag. My wife and children. The order applies only to you. Give this to the officer in charge tomorrow. What crime did you commit to be assigned to Buchenwald? I did nothing. Try again. What crime did you commit? I have done nothing. Let us pray in silence for the children of Abraham. Outside the synagogue is burning, and that, like this church, is a house of God. In many homes, an inflammatory newspaper is being distributed, warning us that if we show any sentimentality toward the Jews, we commit treason. This church and this priest will pray for the Jews. They can never defeat us as long as we love each other. And we are at Berta, Amor winked omnia, love conquers all.
a sergeant. I can't go poking my nose into SS headquarters. But just to find out where Carl is, that isn't too much to ask. Inga, Muller can stick his neck out for, for... Say it. For my Jewish husband. I'm pretty sure he went to Buchenwald. Buchenwald? A civilian prison near Weimar. It isn't so bad. At least that's what I hear. Can I get to see him? Can I write? Write, maybe. Don't say I told you. Inga, I like your parents. I like you. So far, there's nothing in the regulations against you for marrying a Jew. But my advice is, leave him alone. Good advice. Yes, Muller's right. Ah, uh, when I think of all that fancy family of his, a doctor, the wife, all your marriage did was bring trouble. Stop it! I won't let you talk that way. We have a right to be mad, taking this family in. Stop it! It's a bad business hiding Jews. Herr Muller, I beg of you, can I get a letter to him? Could he buy his way out? Rich Jews, sometimes. But a poor artist like your man, no. Please, help me. Muller, don't get yourself into trouble with one of them. It's bad enough we got them living next door. I'm disgusted with all of you. I want that Jew bitch and her kids out. No! They are my family! We warned her, a beautiful Aryan girl like that, mixed up with Jews. You are an old friend. You will say nothing about... About your Hebrew in-laws? <laughs> Not a word. Threats from England and France that they will intervene on Poland's behalf are regarded by the Fuhrer as bluffs, creations of the international Jewish conspiracy. The Poles of yours must come to their senses and agree to the reasonable requests of the German people for the restoration of lands stolen from them. At the same time, informed sources in Warsaw said they see no prospect of war, and that the negotiations over Danzig and other boundary disputes can be resumed. There is strong sentiment in Poland, it is said, to accommodate... Poland, you're next. Mama, why doesn't anyone believe him when he says he's going to do those things? People deceive themselves when they're frightened. Like us. We're no different than those dumb governments. That pig Muller thinks Carl is in Buchenwald. I'm going there. They won't let you near him. Yeah, well, I'm going to try. I must see him. Any chance of his getting out? Muller gave me no hope, but I'm going anyway. I'm leaving Berlin. Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. I won't let them grab me off the street. But your mama and Anna. I can't do them any good here. Inga, you'll have to look after them. You think I'm a coward to run away? No, Rudy. No, never a coward. What were you two talking about? Did I hear you mention Carl? No, Mama. I wish Carl was here. Wouldn't be so bad if we were all together. And Papa. Papa is fine. He's working in the hospital in Warsaw. Rudy, test me on dates. Sure. New regulations have been published today concerning activities of the Jews. They apply to all Jews in all areas of Germany and Austria. Jews what the hell? Jews that won't help, Rudy. All It'll help me. Are, are you going to test me on dates or not? Okay, okay. 1521. Diet of Worms. Diet of Worms. 1618. Start of the Thirty Year War. All Jewish documents and passes. 1776. American Revolution. Failure to comply will mean immediate arrest. 1814. Defeat of Napoleon. By a Jew will be named a capital offense. It's good that you keep up your lessons, Anna. In spite of everything, you must prepare yourself for life.
Do you know where you're going? Any place they can't find me. Well, how will you live? Here, take this. It may help you. Will you write to me and tell me where you are? Maybe. Tell Mama not to worry about me. Take care of her. And be nice to Anna. She's a fresh kid, but she's okay. If you see Carl, tell him I'll see him too someday. Bye, Inga. Goodbye, Rudy.
No plan, no pattern. The Poles gave up too quickly. We overran that bloody country so fast we can't establish procedures. If the goal were clearer, perhaps we could. Can you tell me what the goal is? The elimination of Jewish influence from Europe. The depopulization of large areas now occupied by Slavs. The use of Poles and Russians and other Slavs as labor. Yes, but what does that really mean? Impoverishment? Banishment? Transportation? Sterilization? Extermination? Come on, you've read the Fuhrer. Annihilation of millions of people is obviously out of the question. Obviously. Some form of containment, perhaps. Quarantined. Do the Jews serve a purpose? Purpose? Tell me, Dorf. How much is conviction and how much opportunism? I'm no psychologist, sir. Do I believe the Jews have to be removed from society? Of course. But supposing this racial stuff were nonsense? Jews have intermarried with Aryans for centuries. Then why are we so adamant on eliminating Jews? The practical side. Anti-Semitism is the cement that binds us together. Christians may disagree on a number of things, but as men of conscience, they can unite in their hatred of Jews. Yes, but haven't the Jews earned that hatred? Of course. Christ killers. Well poisoners. Agents of Satan. Murderers of Christian children. Well, Himmler might believe that garbage, but you and I know it's medieval crap. Lies. But politically useful lies. In a way, the ground has been prepared for us. So, ideology or the old traditions go hand in hand with practical modern policies. Precisely. Why do you think we've had no opposition? Why do you think the French and English barely protest? Because deep down, they have a sneaking admiration for the way we are handling the Jews. What was that word you used before? Quarantine. Isolate the germ carriers. Why don't we start a um, eastward movement? Create vast ghettos. Let the Jews run them. The word ghettos may be misunderstood. Now what do you suggest? Autonomous Jewish territories. Autonomous Jewish territories. Marvellous. Will these be permanent communities? Well, let's just say steps towards regulating the Jewish problem. Oh my God, Dorf, I'm getting like you, using language to say what I don't mean. happens to be my wife. Oh, for goodness sake, Uncle <laughs> Kurt! Oh, what a marvelous surprise. I didn't know you were in Berlin. I'm in a now. I'm rather clad this little boy in the studio's but Look at you now. An SS officer. I'm impressed. A very minor officer, Uncle. Why are you here tonight? I'm under contract to the army. The generals consider these affairs as a sort of bonus for my keeping up with the timetables. I wish Papa were alive to see us now. I'm sure he'd be proud. Marta is dazzling, Eric. I love her more every day. <laughs> and it's more than love. It's admiration, respect. She seems to have won the respect of your chief as well. He hardly looks the blonde beast. The blonde beast? Uh, just a street expression. That was a great honor to me, General. Not at all, Frau Dorf. The honor was mine. Dorf, your wife is charming. You must arrange an evening at the opera. <laughs> oh, yes. Forgive me, General. My uncle, Kurt Dorf. It's a great honor to meet you, sir. Dorf, Kurt, let me see. Hired by General von Brauhitsch, civil engineer in charge of road building in the occupied territories. I have no idea how well informed you are concerning humble road builders. Excuse me. Eric? 
Don't you think we should ask Major Eichmann's wife to dance? Remember how nice he was to us in Vienna? Hmm? Yes, dear. Uncle Kurt, please dance with Martha. Forgive me, Martha, but I'd rather not dance. I'm so stiff after wandering about those dusty roads. But we love champagne. you and Eric and the children, affection and good wishes from the bachelor uncle. Thank you, Uncle Kurt. He's a charming man, I've had him. Not at all what I expected. Let somebody call him <laughs> the young god of death. Oh, but that's dreadful. Who dare to say anything like that? Political enemies, I suppose. Uncle Kurt, he's a refined and sensitive man. He could have been a concert violinist if he hadn't chosen to serve Germany. I'm quite sure he's a very fine man, but policemen tend to make enemies. He's no policeman. And neither is Eric. <laughs> I'm sorry, Martha. I really shouldn't go into politics. That's why I'm still a civilian, I suppose. But how lovely you are. And how lucky Eric is. A wife, children, a career. It was simple. He became part of the new Germany. And so you did. Well, you could sound a little more convincing. But I'm part of it, too. I know what a good job the Fuhrer has done. Everybody working again. No strikes. Stable currency. And as soon as France and England ask for peace, we can get on with the job. Then you and Eric are in agreement. The only difference is he wears a uniform and you don't. <laughs> My dear Martha, how marvelously you sympathizing. But you know, you could be right. In spite of my age and those dusty roads, I'm going to ask you to dance. That would be lovely, Uncle Kurt. platform. I'm Rabbi Koch. Right. It's a miracle any of us survived. I'm Dr. Weiss, my brother Moses. We're on the Jewish Council of Warsaw. How is it here? Well, it's not exactly the Garden of Eden, but uh, it'll get there. There's a dead infant in that car. The mother won't leave it. Mrs. Lowy. We need your help. Mrs. Lowy will take you to the city. on you for helping us. I'm not sure I like this business of being on the Jewish Council. Deciding who gets so much to eat, who gets a place to sleep, who will live, who will die. Well, somebody has to do it. And people respect you, Joseph. They trust you. <laughs> do they? Ever since we were children, playing across these very same tracks, I've always trusted you. You were the clever one. 
Do you, do you remember the day you won the chemistry prize? Hmm. And the principal wouldn't let me accept it in the auditorium. <laughs> That's right. Because you were of the Hebrew persuasion. But you stole it from his office. The certificate in 50 slots. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, and Papa, with that run-down drugstore, he made me take it over because I was the stupid son. <laughs> you had no choice, Moses. No, no choice. Then or now. I really hurt you. A long time ago. Oh, I didn't mean that. Pampered son, medical school. I never called you, I never wrote to you. Well, you were a busy man. Wife, family, career. I'm sorry, Moses. That kid was in the first invasion. He doesn't talk much about it, but he's so plenty. Those 88s really gave the Polacks a good scare, eh, Hans? They're good guns. Me, I guess I'm too old. A behind-the-lines soldier. I've been transferred to Buchenwald. Buchenwald? Guard duty, administration. I'd rather be up front like Hans, but they need guards in these prisons. Buchenwald, you said Carl was there. Did I? Yes, right after he was arrested. You said most of them were sent to Buchenwald. Oh, maybe he was. Muller, will you try to find him for me? Find out how he is? <laughs> Inga, there are 10, maybe 20,000 prisoners there. Well, surely you can find him. Carl Weiss of Berlin, an artist. Well, I'm sure he's all right. Better inside than in Poland, eh? Hans, you can tell her what happens to Jews in Poland. I heard it gets pretty rough. The old ones with the beards go first. They string them up in the town square. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to get worse for Jews, here in Germany also, now that the damned English and the French are fighting us. And everybody knows it's the Jews that got them into this. He's right, Inge. Those two next door, they are a danger to us. Inge, darling, the Muller knows what he's talking about. Maybe your mother-in-law and her daughter should leave. No. They are my family as much as you are. But you can get us all in trouble. Yeah, harboring criminals, protecting fugitives, it's a bad business. And you should stop trying to see Karl. He brought this on you. I can't believe this is my family. Look who's talking. Look who brought Jews here in the first place. Damn you. Damn you! Mama, do you think anyone plays our piano anymore? I'm trying. Soon it will be new here. Let us hope it will be a better one. Mama, we must never give up hope. Mm. Ooh, you're very cold. Oh, I'm always cold. Joseph says it's my blue blood. <laughs> <laughs> what were they yelling about? Nothing important. Your parents want to throw us out. Perhaps if Anna and I found a place with one of Joseph's patients. Papa's patients are gone. In prison or just gone. Anna, please. There is no hope. Carl is in prison and Rudy ran away. Never a word from him. And Papa, in Poland where it's like they came after him. Mama, you're acting as if this is a play. Writing letters, talking about Papa's patients. It does no harm. You always had that notion that you were someone special. So fine, so educated. The Nazis would never hurt you or your children. And look, look what's happened to us! Oh, no, your mother can't be blamed. <laughs> New Year's Eve. And who knows if any one of us will be alive for the next New Year? <laughs> Anna. <laughs> Please, please, my baby, don't, don't cry. Rudy wouldn't like it, Rudy. 
Yes, we'll soon hear from Rudy. No. Rudy will get us out, I know. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I won't listen to any more lies. No, I'm running away, too. Inga, stop her. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have any money. You don't have any place to go. Rudy was strong and tough. Oh, leave me alone. I know I can't go anywhere. Oh, no, please. She'll be all right. The streets are full of police. They'll send her right home. Wait, it'll come the Russians' turn. When will our turn come, Weinberg? Don't ask me, Weiss. Maybe I'd be better off in the quarry where they'd kill me in a hurry. Don't say that. I hear some rich guy bought his way out. 50,000 Swiss francs. His wife got it to the SS Commandant. His wife? I haven't heard from my wife in over a year. Why should you be different? You're talking about wives. 
Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tease me, Weinberg. Business-wise, not sex. One of the SS sergeants pays me for it. Presents for his mistress. Good dry bread. Bonus for lace drawers and matrix girl. Take half. I shouldn't, Weinberg. All I ever do is complain. Take it. Swallow fast, hide the bread. I'm out of the hell with him. Hey, Weiss. Eating in the bags is forbidden. Lay off, Melnick. You cappers are worse than the SS. You're a Jew, aren't you? You're one of us. Give us a break. Shut up. I do what I do because they tell me to. I bother us over a lousy bit of bread. Dr. Sun from Berlin, hey, Weiss. Learning to be a tough guy. Give me that bread. No. Melnick, lay off. Oh. Weiss, give it to him. It's mine. I won't. Cut him out. Give me that bread. For God's sake, Jews don't fight Jews. Give me back that bread. Breath. I want to tell them you win. You can do anything you want to me. Kill me. Listen, Wise. I'm no religious man. I heard a rabbi say the day before we were arrested every one of us who lives is a sanctification. I don't want to live. Sure, you do. Groan if it'll help. Don't be ashamed. Oh. Oh. So you're Heydrich's new boy. Sit down. Heydrich's eyes and ears. I guess they sent you to Warsaw to check up on me. I know what they think of me. Hans Frank, loud-mouthed Governor General of Poland. By no means. You're highly regarded. Like hell. I'm here because I'm a smart lawyer. Bailed Hitler and Goering out of jail a hundred times in the old days. I'm aware of your legal services to the party. It gives us something in common. I'm a lawyer, too. Are you? Heydrich's hiring a better class of clerk. But don't be insulted. I've heard a lot about you. A master of terminology. I try to follow up on Hendrick's requests. Less modesty, Captain. This stinking Warsaw, for example. Autonomous Jewish territory. Your phrase for a walled-in sewer full of Jews. We asked you to build a wall around a ghetto. Our directives... Our directives? You don't issue directives, you carry them. That damned wall. So Heidrich can keep shoving Jews at me. Disease, filth, corruption, the Jew dregs of Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Austria, autonomous Jewish territory. These Jews are going to have to disappear. Disappear? I can see through that baby face. You know what I mean. No such plan is contemplated. You'll ask me to do your bloody work for you. Well, don't be surprised if I start without your permission. What the hell do you know? I was head of the party legal office when you were in short pants. Yes, Hedrick has a file on your legal career. Does he? Interesting details. Your passion for justice. Objecting to the murder of Ernst Rome. Not at all what the Fuhrer had in mind for the governance of Poland. I heard you were just another bootlicker. Apparently you're not. Let me 
streets are they going to close? Seems they do intend to wall us in. Eleven miles of it. Some wall. Keep us in and the poles out. It's a damn prison. It seems to me they're trying to make Warsaw the supreme ghetto. At least the ghetto is something we can understand. We'll be allowed our schools, our hospitals, and administration. They need us. For how long? I beg your pardon? How long will they need us? What do several million poor Jews mean to them? Dr. Weiss, we have no option but to cooperate, to provide the work details, coordinate housing. We've seen those work details, people taken away, worked to death, shot, beaten. That's right. I've been on them. In the ghetto of Rezov, the Jewish council failed to deliver the work portal. The council members were hanged. We must cooperate with them. Poland's been conquered. We are what we have always been. Victims. And why all this attention, if we're no threat to them? We must obey orders. We must crack down on smugglers and resistors. Resistance is foolish. Foolish! We can only pray for things to get better. At first, she was not so bad, but in the last few months, she doesn't speak, Doctor. She recognizes no one. Since the incident? Yeah. What can I do to help? Well, is there no uh, special therapy or um, a sanitarium that could help her? Perhaps I can help. Nurse, we have a patient for Hadamar. Inform them. Yes, doctor. Hadamar? A hospital for mental problems. Ah, well, she be treated very well there. Within the limitations of a wartime economy. Your sister-in-law can stay here for the rest of the day. We'll arrange transportation. Yes. You can bring her things here tomorrow. Anna? You know me? Listen, darling, when you feel better, your mama and I will come visit you. I promise you that. Oh, no, wait. Am I doing the right thing? These problems are best handled by professionals. Yeah. Give my regards to your mother-in-law. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, Anna.
with much regret that we must inform you of the death of your daughter, Fraulein Anna Weiss. Mama, you don't have to read this again. Although we did all we could to help her and gave her every care, she refused to take nourishment, did not respond to medication, and on June the 3rd, died of pneumonia and malnutrition. In view of the unsettled conditions now prevailing, we have taken the liberty of cremating her remains and providing burial near the sanitarium. Mama, perhaps it's better. We don't know if Anna would ever have been well again. She loved everyone. Closing vouchers to be issued to Jews. All Jews failing to have registers with the police must do so at once. All Jews must be in possession of their yellow identification cards at all times. Jews may not use public transportation. Jews may not use public libraries. It is forbidden for Jewish children to attend public schools. It is forbidden to sell luggage, knapsacks, Valises are lesser to choose. Jews may not carry knapsacks or valises without police permits. It is strictly forbidden for Aryans to trade or do any business whatsoever with Jews. the knapsack. Let's see your papers. Give us the sack. He will not. You. Give me that knapsack. Huh? It's mine. He never paid me for it. I want it back. You sold it to him? Yes, I sold it to him before you put up those, those new rules. Look, don't try to get away with anything. You owe me for it, and if they confiscate it, who's out the money? in the back room. Why did you do that? Because you were in trouble. You're not a Czech. I'm a German. Mm. A Jew. What are you doing here? I ran away. I'm Rudy Weiss. My name is Helena Slomova. It's been a long time since I've held a girl's hand. Too busy running. Well, where will you go now? I don't know. I'm sorry. That's all right. I didn't mind.
Is this shop yours? No, it's my father's. But my parents were sent to Poland. I don't know where. I haven't heard from them. Why were they arrested? They said that my father was a Zionist agent. Zionist? People who want to go to Palestine. What's so funny? Oh, it's just that there weren't very many in Berlin. Old men with beards, kids with earlocks rattling cans for coins. Better close up, Helena. Gestapo is checking the shops. Thank you. I will. Come. Come with me. I've been alone too long. I'm glad I found you. All because of your knapsack. Don't you have a boyfriend? Relatives who will come here wonder who I am? That doesn't matter anymore. I used to be a proper girl, but uh, I live from day to day now. Helena Slomova, who rescued me in a luggage shop. <laughs> it's going to get worse, you know. You saw those regulations the Germans put up. More people will be sent away like my mother and father. What will you do? I don't know. I wish I could go somewhere. Palestine. There are ways of getting out. Come with me. With no money, no papers? I got this far. Yes, but I would be a hindrance to you. You'd be surprised what a diet of turnips can do. <laughs> Helena, the worst thing is to be alone. My father's gone. My brother's in prison. My mother and my sister might just as well be in a prison in Berlin. I need someone to hold, to talk to. I'll teach you to sleep in haystacks and steal from farmers. <laughs> it sounds awful. Better than staying here, waiting for them to come and get you. When I was a little girl in Hebrew school, we learned the story of Ruth. Who was she? You only have to know one part. Whether thou goest, I will go. Without enough food, the can't resist the diseases. We got the rations today? Delayed again. And speak to the council. Feed only those that have a chance to survive. Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, Dr. Weiss! Dr. Weiss! Your wife! I just saw her. My wife? She just came in on the transport. I'd recognize her anywhere. Berta? Frau Berta Weiss, do you know her? Frau Berta Weiss, do you know, do you know her? Berta Weiss? Shouldn't I register? 
<laughs> My law-abiding wife. It can wait, even in this ghetto bureaucracy, isn't it? Do you believe you have a cafe? It's not quite the Adlon Hotel. Where there are Jews, there must be a place to talk. They ran out of coffee a long time ago, but we can sit and hold hands. The way we did when you were a student. <laughs> And this is the Kurfürsten. <laughs> Joseph, you mustn't try to hide anything from me. I will hide nothing from you. Later, later. We manage you. As a physician, there's work, there's a community. You needn't deceive me. I've seen the beggars in the streets, and I've heard of the shootings. But it will end. I'm told Goering himself will end it. No need to humor me any longer, Joseph. I've seen too much. I suppose we all have. Tell me about the children. Anna. Joseph. Anna is dead. Anna. Anna. How? Pneumonia. It was quick and painless. But how? Where? In the apartment. She fell ill one day. We, we couldn't get her medicine. She died painlessly in her sleep. <laughs> Joseph cry if it will help, but, but she's gone, and perhaps it's better. Better? Life is always better than death. Mm. No, I'm not sure anymore. And boys? Rudy ran away. I had a letter from him from Prague. He told us not to worry. <laughs> you know, Rudy, the indestructible one. My street fighter. I should have spent more time with him. And Carl. Carl still lives in Buchenwald. Inge has learned that he is as well as can be expected. <laughs> Joseph. It is wrong for us to dwell on our misfortunes. Agreed. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll speak to them about letting you teach school. Me? Of course. Well, you see the children of Warsaw. Nothing in their stomachs half the time, but those kids give concerts and plays. Oh, Joseph. I have never loved you more. Nor are you. I look at you when I see her. <laughs> we mustn't. Come. Show me these elegant quarters. Hmm?
Halt. Sergeant Muller, this is Private Richter at the East Gate. There's a woman here to see you, sir. Uh, Frau Weiss. Yes. Yes, Sergeant. Open up. Emula, I have received your letter. How are you, Inga? You know why I came here. Walk your post. Go. Please come inside. We have a visitor's room. I want to see my husband. We can discuss it inside, Inga. You said in the letter you would arrange it. Security is stricter now. I was only transferred here two months ago. I thought as a favor for old friends. I want to see my husband. Are you afraid of me? No, I don't fear you. not a visitor's room. This is your room. Please. Sit down. Uh, cigarette? Cognac? Coffee? The real stuff. Not our sets. Nothing but the best for the boys in the service. I want to see Carl. All right. That helm single-mindedness. How is he? Is he still in the tailor shop? I'm afraid not. He got into a fight of some sort. They had to string him up for a while. They put him to work in the quarry. Hard work, pick and shovel. You lied to me. I can't see him, can I? He's being worked to death, isn't he? I've heard stories of what goes on. You heard nonsense. They work and they are fed. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. I'll help you. Can you get a letter to him? Why not? And can you get one out for me and mail it to Berlin? It can be managed. We're not monsters, you know. There's a job to be done. It's more than a job, Muller. For me, that's all it is. You've known me a long time. I was there at your wedding. I've been through hard times, no work for years. I had no father to send me to art school. I'm a plain Berliner, a mechanic. Why, you look down on me for that? That's not what I meant. Oh, what's the difference? Promise me you'll get my letters to him and send his out to me. Done. I'll leave. Carl doesn't look well. That outdoor work may finish him. What? What are you saying? Well, I'm sticking my neck out, but I have influence with the Commandant. What can you do? Well, I could have him transferred to the art studio. Oh, please. Please, would you do that? I would be very grateful to you. Good. Of course, you'll have to bring the letters by hand. Mail in and out of here is uh, uncertain.
One more week of hacking at rocks, and he'll be another dead Jew. Papers? We haven't any. Give us a chance. We want to get to Yugoslavia. We just want to cross Hungary. Start moving. Please. We can pay. I said move. Place safe for us here. Rudy, it is useless. Well, we are finished. They're going to have to kill us first. You know, I, I haven't the vaguest idea where we are right now. <laughs> Does it really matter? Yes. I'm not ready to die yet. What the devil was the Brotherhood of Love? I don't believe a word of it. There's no such organization. Oh, it's true. When I left the Lutheran ministry, I wanted to um, encourage human love through Christian faith. And how did your Brotherhood of Love work out? Oh, badly, I'm afraid. So I uh, joined the SS. <laughs> Spreading the gospel amongst us, eh, Bibishtad? No, no. We're all converts to a new faith. Eh, Dorf? A new faith? Yes. And we're the apostles. Ah, listen to Dorf. Which one of us is Peter? Just call me Doubting Thomas. So long as there's no Judas. Dolph! Watch out for that one. Heydrich's classroom monitor. Gentlemen, you've all been chosen for a very difficult job. And you'll be watched. Captain Dorf here is to be assigned to the Russian front as a sort of traveling representative. Selling what? Extermination? You be careful with your choice of words, Blobel. All of you, tell Dorf what you've done and put as little as possible on paper. Gentlemen, the Fuhrer himself hasn't put any of this in writing, so don't go blabbing about it. Blabbing? Little squirt. This will be no easy job. 
You'll have a thousand miles of the Russian front to manage, from the Baltic to the Black Sea. What, less than 3,000 men? Yes, sir. The plan includes recruiting local militia, Ukrainians, Lithuanians. Permit me to say, Captain, this a new program, these action commandos will be engaged in something more uh, comprehensive than resettlement. Ollendorf, we are aware of that. Gentlemen, the key is mobility. Once an area is secure, find your Jews, move in, and deal with them accordingly. Don't worry about the regular army. The generals are as afraid of us as the Jews are. Dorf, read them that army order. General instructions for dealing with political leaders following the Fuhrer's orders of March 30th, 1941. Eleven categories of persons in the Soviet Union are listed as subject to our jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. I like that. A ditch and a machine gun. These categories include criminal elements, gypsies, officials of the Soviet state and party, agitators, communists, and all Jews. The army issued this list? That's right. When the Fuhrer issued his commissar order, making it clear what he wanted, they obliged. The army gentlemen will be your willing servants. The Fuhrer went to great lengths to insist that the war in Russia will be unlike any other. And these are his exact words. It will be conducted with unprecedented, merciless, and unrelenting harshness, end quote. The Russians are to be regarded as subhuman, born to slavery, a notch above Jews. Will there be exceptions, uh, special cases? Yes, we might exclude certain trustworthy Russian elements, faults, Ukrainians who wish to work with us. What about Jews? Any exceptions? None. Well, that's clear enough. I thought that's what this meeting was about. About two years ago, the Italian ambassador raised objections to the Fuhrer's Jewish policies. Mussolini was offended, and so on. The Fuhrer told him that in 500 years, the name of Adolf Hitler will be honored for one thing, having wiped the Jews from the face of the earth. Bergman. <laughs> Хорошо говорит это по-русски. Конечно. Я, я училась в школе имени Ленина. What's going on? I told them that we are Czechs and that I studied at the Lenin school. See them. <laughs> I know what that means. Go on, tell them we're Jews. Вы правы, товарищ капитан. Мы евреи. Пошли их обратно. Мы ничего не имеем с немцами. He wants to send us back. We're dead if we go back. I know, but he says he has no quarrel with the Germans. Tell them the roads are full of German tanks and artillery. Moving east. Товарищ капитан, повсюду немецкие танки, артиллерия. Артиллерия. Я вас прошу, товарищ капитан, разве уж идти нам остаться? Я могу работать переводчицей. Мой отец, член партии, хороший коммунист. I told him that my father was a good communist. Kiss him if you have to. Пожалуйста, голубчик мой. Он тоже коммунист? Руди, он спрашивает, если ты хороший коммунист. О, да, конечно, если это спасет мою ногу. Он наилучший коммунист. Это легче для нас. Пошли в Киев. Давай. Спасибо. Он сделал нас в Киев. За Маркса, за Ленина и за вас, товарищ. Давай. Ask him what kind of place Kiev is. Tavarish, what is a great Kiev? Красивый украинский город. Киева большие гостиницы. He says it is beautiful, a big city. Where'd you get all that stuff about the Lenin School? 
it was really the Herzl Institute, but I did not think it hurt to change the name. Tovarish, what is this? Don't be afraid, it's ours. He says they are Russian guns. their nerve and I question their judgment. Maybe it's better to die for a last cigarette. There you put out a cigarette. You scam your fields, put it out! Put it out! Capo, get at them. to escape, couple of gypsies. You too, go down and get the bodies. Move! Take him to the crematory. Hold it. I want that one. Move! You, help him. Your wife's a faithful correspondent. Is she here? Right on schedule. Muller, can I see Inga? She's gone. Can you get one of my letters out to her? Don't I always? Read yours, now. Later, when I'm alone. You miss her, don't you? Well, uh, well uh, can't you get me out? You're a friend of Inga's family. You know how much she's suffering. If you hate me because I'm a Jew, at least have pity on her. Who hates you? And how can you be so certain she's suffering? What do you mean? Women manage. Has she said something to you? This is a business, Weiss. Jews understand business. You don't think I'd risk my neck playing male man without getting paid? Mother, you're lying. Why do you think she comes here in person? She could mail the letters. Money doesn't change hands. I think you understand what I mean. The trouble with you people is, you always expect something for nothing. That's why you're so despised. I don't want a letter. And I won't send any out. Oh, no, Weiss. Things can get much tougher for you if you refuse. I don't care. Of course you care. You won't be in here forever, and you won't even notice any difference in her when you do get out. Be smart, Weiss. Write her tonight. I'll read it and send it on. I don't want to write her or see her again. Don't be a fool. You saw what happened to those gypsies. I don't care. Or perhaps you'd rather be one of Engelman's little boys. He has his own private stock of young men. But then maybe you're too old for him. Mother. Enough. I can have you transferred to the artist's studio. No. 
Have the letter here tomorrow. No. I think you'll change your mind. Go easy with my friend Weiss. He's been requisitioned for the artist's studio. He's a sensitive fellow. Move! Come on, move! A handful arrested today, sir, from some farming villages. Yes, sir, we will hold them till we get here. My name, go down to the pits and tell them to wait till Colonel Blobel gets here. VIP guests. And put your tunic, put your cap oh, yeah, on, this yeah. is a military outfit. Yeah. Five million Jews in Russia and there's 3,000 of us assigned to shoot them. What do you want? Transferred. C Company, isn't it? They're into Chaplain's office. Damn it, I told him to hold it up. Holmes Hans Corporal, 72nd Infantry Regiment, B Company. Transferred in grade. How do you foul up, Helms? I'm a combat soldier. Two years in Poland and the Ukraine. Nobody asks to get into this outfit. How do you screw up? I fell asleep on sentry. You get plenty of sleep here. We keep regular hours. They gave me a choice. Either do time in the guardhouse or transfer to the action commandos. Welcome to the SS. Keep your mouth shut. You'll work out, Helms. Go back to quartermaster and draw new patches. Remember one thing, Helms. What's that? After the officers get theirs, we split the loot. What the hell are you talking about? Pants, watches, clothing, huh? Dumb infantryman. <laughs> hey, you guys, get into uniform, officers! Well, this damned army major says these daytime killings are a non-German concept. Language, Bobo, language, not killings. I'm quoting him. I know the rules, Dorf. Special handling, special action, resettlement, executive action against Jews. I said to him, I'm German, you tin soldier. The regular army's up to its neck in Jew blood. <laughs> Field Marshal von Reichenau himself told me to shoot Jews with two rounds of ammunition, not five. I'm German. I wish I could make you understand we sympathize with you. Then stop making impossible demands. A million and a half Jews run east. We can't catch them all. But you must, Global. Sergeant. Not much today, sir. The villages have been cleaned out. Sergeant, are those civilians? Who are they, folks? Ukrainian, sir. They like to watch. And the photographer and the man taking motion pictures? Who were they? For the battalion archives. And the man taking notes? Something? I don't know. Who is he, folks? War correspondent, sir. An Italian. He got clearance from divisional headquarters. I don't like this. Any of it. You don't like it? What the hell do you think this is? A ballet? You're getting a Jew-free Russia, aren't you? It isn't tidy. It isn't tidy. I'll show you what's tidy. Line them up! <laughs> I don't want no civilians watching. <laughs> Global, this is no way to carry out my... Ah! Ah! No protest, no fight, nothing. Himmler is right, the bastards are subhuman. Colonel Blobel, I'm submitting a negative report on you. Your what? The orders were for secrecy and orderliness in these matters, and you're running a carnival. You damn little bureaucrat. There will be no civilian guests at these actions. There will be no journalists prowling around. No smoking, no drinking. And what are they doing? Spoils of war. That will stop all valuables left by Jews are property of the state. All right, paper pusher. 
tell them they can't have that cognac. Chain of command, Global. That'll be your job. Hardwick has assigned me to the Eastern Front to see that these actions are carried out efficiently and with secrecy. You fail on all counts. Well, let me tell you, boy. Those of us in the field have our eye on you. Olandorf and Nebi and the others, they know a spy when they see one. Don't try to undercut me, Blobble. I talk to Heydrich every day. Colonel, next group. No. Hold it. Get the civilians out of here. Tell the photographer and the cameraman to stop. Sergeant, tell them I want their film. Hey, you! Out! Out! All of you! Out! Come on! Out, all of you! You! Hold it! So you talk to Heydrich every day, do you? Blobble, give me my gun. Desk soldier, paper captain. Go on down there and finish a few off yourself. They all seem to be dead. Can't be too sure. Go on. This is ridiculous. Crap in your blood, Dorf. <laughs> or in your pants, maybe. You want to make a negative report on that drunk Blobel who can't run a tidy operation. Damn you. Go down there and you tidy it up! It's like eating noodles, Dorf. Once you start, you can't stop. Ask the men what it's like, Captain. You shoot ten Jews, the next hundred are easier. Shoot a hundred, you'll land to shoot a thousand. Oh. Bear up one, sir. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Good, good. Two shots are plenty, von Reichenau says. Captain Dorf. The Zulu warriors say a man is not a man until he's washed his spear in blood. 